guys, Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm super excited today because uh, for a number of reasons. One, we're making this gigantic snow white toddler. She is going to be the same size as my five and, five and a half year old Charlotte. Uh, two, I'm doing a new camera setup. So I don't know if you can even tell right now the, the change in quality in both the audio and the visual. So you'll have to let me know. But with the new um, with the new cameras, I also have an overhead view um, that I think is hopefully you guys will like it. So please let me know. But it will be part of like just my mainstream videos from now on. You'll have this angle and you'll also have this angle. So I'm so excited. But before we get started, I did want to point out these guys over here. So you can see um, they stand up by themselves. And I mean, they look great, you know, next to even someone as tall as me. <laughs> I'm pretty short, but um, next to a kid for a party decor, they they take pictures, they photograph really well, and um, they're really sizable next to those kids. But even you know, with adults, because they'll be up on a cake table or something like that, um, they'll look great. So all right, so I'm gonna flip the camera. So give me a second. All right, let me double check to see. All right, do you see it? This is my workspace. You should still see my face. So hopefully it won't be so weird talking through this whole thing. But all right, so she's laid out. You can see that she's not, uh, there's two pieces of her head that's not on here because she's 48 inches. I mean, this is gonna look amazing. Um, all right, so I laid her out upside, um, right side up. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to tape the whole background. So this is our back layer. There's lots of seams, obviously, because it's 48 inches, but we're going to be able to cover up almost all the seams. It's You're not going to notice the seams at all. All right, so this is regular black cardstock, 65 pounds. We are going to tape it from behind because if you think about it, behind this is gonna be our, the last step is our foam board from the Dollar Tree and that's what makes it stay up um, straight. So um, let's flip it over. So I'm just gonna take it right in the middle. And I literally have to do it like this because I have messed up so many times. Does that look right? No. <laughs> Her feet were gonna, <laughs> I am so bad at this, okay. I think this is right, okay. And then I'm gonna flip these two. Okay, really bad at this. I'm taking regular scotch tape, and what we're gonna do is basically two pieces at a time. We're going to lift one up, push it against the other one, and then we're gonna tape it. We're really trying to make, to just make the seams as seamless as possible. So if you hold one and push it like this, and then you grab the two, you can tape it down like this. Um, this part, like how much you tape, doesn't quite matter that much because when you put it on a foam board, everything's going to sit really flat. It's not going to bend at the seams and that's when you notice the seams. But what we're going to want to do though is at the edge where there's nothing covering it. I mean, there's like this much of the edge that will never have, um, cause it's the outline. We want to make sure that that part is taped down because we don't want any movement there. So you can see right here. Um, oh, no, you can't see it here. Let me move it over a little bit. It's a little bit out of the range. So right there, you just want to tape down because that's at the outline where you want to do that. All right, so again, just we're going to go around this whole piece and just every two pieces, you want to push it, pick it up, push it against the other piece, kind of hold it in place while you tape it down. Now this one, obviously, I taped it right in the middle just so that I can get it but I'm gonna wanna tape at the edge where the outline's gonna be, right? Okay. I should have just scrapped the whole thing. But it's really important that your tape does not go past the black because the scotch tape, even though it's clear, against this black, it's gonna show up. So we don't want any tape to show um, on the other side, okay? So um, just continue doing this. Let me just check to make sure that the view is good. Okay, and we're just gonna tape down. I'm like so excited about this piece. Um, my daughter is gonna go bananas when she sees it. Okay. All right. So again, on this one, we don't. We're not worried about this piece. We're worried about this piece, right? Because this is the inside. So over here, we just want to tape. Oh, I just too big of a piece. Okay. Yeah, I've been corn. 
quarantining hardcore. So if this gives you a close up of my gray hair, um, it just is what it is. <laughs> All right. And let's see. So we're just doing piece by piece. And the other thing you may notice is I got bit by something and had a crazy reaction. So don't mind that either. Once we have her taped up, I will flip her over so you can see. Um, so we're still taping up the pairs, but right now you, what you end up doing once you tape up all the pairs is then you have like a big portion to tape together. So on this one, we're going to put these two together, right? I'm sorry. Let me see if I can fit. Okay. Let's get this together. And again, you want to kind of just push it up against the two. Now, if you see, this is a lot easier because all the pieces are corner pieces and we're pushing them against each other. That's another reason why I do like the process um, that we use where we're, you know, creating those squares, those flush squares in design space and slicing it square by square. Um, it really helps to line it up and it just makes it so much easier. The one time that I didn't do it, I did it on purpose, and that was for Queen B. And the reason is because this skirt area, it's the black background, and I didn't want any seams at all. So I basically created those squares and then twisted her over, and it was definitely more difficult to piece everything together because everything didn't line up like they were at a cross. Um, so I do... I do prefer doing it this way, and I notice that not everyone does it that way, which I don't really care. <laughs> All right, so let's keep doing this. All right. And, you know, it's so funny because doing her at 48 inches, each one of the pieces, the colored pieces that go on top, they're much bigger, so it was so much easier to deal with, like, her eyes, um, the bow in her hair, for instance, so that part is nice. What's not nice is I think it takes a little, just a little bit longer to slice up everything in design space, but that's a one-time thing. And then it's going to be this beautiful piece. So all right. I just want to get the edges because she's going to be, I mean, she's almost seamless. There are two areas of the colored pieces that we needed to slice. And that was, one was her hair and the other was her full gold skirt. So if there wasn't going to be a seam in the yellow, I would have opted for a lighter yellow. Um, that's part of Cricut's like Sherbert sampler or something like that for the glitter cardstock. But because I feel like that's more true to the color. Um, but because there is a seam, I opted for the gold. And I will show you why. Between the gold and the black glitter cardstock, those two colors from Cricut, they hide the seams ooh, whoa, so well. So um, that's why we did it. <laughs> so you'll see in a second. All right, I'm gonna tape that up. We're almost done taping the back and then I'll pick. Well, normally I pick it up to show you guys, but I don't even think I need to. Because you could see everything. All right, I'm just gonna do one more right here because I don't want it to flap at all and I feel like maybe right here. Okay, so she's completely taped. I will flash back to this one so you can see real quick. So, I mean, <laughs> she's so big. Um, all right, so this is the front, right, where we're gonna layer everything on top, but then this is the back. So you can see how I tape this. All right, so I'm gonna now put her face side up because we're gonna start working on all the different colors. Um, we're gonna do the face first, so let me change my screen. All right, I think that's good, okay. And <laughs> my husband's gonna kill me. I was supposed to be taking pictures this whole time. <laughs> All right. So here's her face, and you're just, I don't know if you can even hear the little clicks, 
but occasionally if I remember and I'd be taking pictures um all right so the black her hair is in three pieces so I definitely want to flip it over and tape those as well as we can okay so just like we did with the with the background so see how that goes I'm gonna flip it over and let's tape this and the reason why I want to tape it from behind is it really makes a difference to make this as seamless as possible. So, um, let's see here. And you'll see when I flip this around, because last night I cut it, took it off the mat, and just, you know, um, placed it out to make sure that all my pieces look good and everything matches up, I didn't lose anything. Um, even untaped, it looked so good and you couldn't even, okay, seriously, do you see what I'm talking about? So where is the seam? Oh, right here. So the seam is right here, I think. Oh yeah, it is. It's right here. I'm going to zoom in. Let me see. Oh no, I'm already zoomed in. Okay. Um, can you see? It is seamless. <laughs> All right. It looks so good. Okay, so we're going to do it again with this piece, so let's flip it over, and look at this. Yeah, so it is definitely worth it to buy Cricut Glitter cardstock. Um, the color, I mean, it really shimmers and it hides the seams well, but even for other projects where you don't care, where, you, where you don't have seams, um, it just is really, really pretty. Um, but don't buy it at full price. If you follow me, I'm an affiliate for, for Cricut. And um, so that means I get a percentage of the sales. I would make more if you bought it at regular price, but um, that's just not cool. We're, we're gonna buy it on sale. <laughs> All right, so here it is. I'm telling you, you can't really see the seams, right? So here's a seam right here. Um, and here's the seam right here. I'm literally using my hands to feel it. Um, it I love it. All right, so that's tip number one. Use black glitter cardstock. Um, and the seam is right here. It really doesn't matter where her bow goes, but I'm gonna put the bow kind of covering the seams a little bit just to, you know, just to make it, just to make sure. Now her face, I'm gonna, uh, here we're gonna have to, okay, so actually let's piece together the face first. Um, does that work? Yeah, it does work. So I have a black piece of cardstock underneath, okay? That's the exact replica of the face minus the contouring so it's just the face without the mouth like cut out right and the reason why you do that is because when i lift this board there is a seam running through her eye and through her mouth well there won't be a seam because we have this now that's going to sit like this so granted we have a little bit of you know the actual eye that's going in there but if the seam was running through there are still black you know black showing. So the seam would have shown through the eyebrow, through the eyes, and there's another one through the mouth. And now it's completely gone. So um, let's take double-sided tape at this point and put down tape so that the black will stick to the face, okay? And you're gonna wanna do that in a few places. Um, you're going to want to use double-sided tape, not regular tape. <laughs> and the reason why I'm doing this is because I struggled with the eyes a little bit. So I don't want to take out everything. I kind of want to leave it. Now, the other tip is when you're watching des the design space tutorial is... You see how this eye has a cut right here? So that means it's not an enclosed space. So what I did in design space is I took a little piece of like a circle or a square. I don't remember what I ended up using. I think it was a square. I put it right here and I welded it to the face 
so that we could have the black, a full black piece covering the back. I hope that makes sense. It'll make more sense if you see everything, I think. <laughs> All right, so um, take scratch paper right now. Normally I have a pile of scratch paper from everything that's being cut. And I like using my tape runner for these pieces. So let's take out the upper lip and just do some tape. Would help if I did it the right way up. <laughs> You want to make sure that you know how when you're using this it's kind of like it reminds me of a spider web like you have that webbing so you want to make sure that you just take your fingers and run it around the thing so that you don't have any of that webbing because it's gonna show so it, against the black so just take that out and then put your piece down okay and then let's put this one across i just realized you can't see that okay Okay, so that is all looking good. I would just face, let's see, yeah. So I would do the face like this. Make sure that you like how the eyes are lining up. Oops, this one flipped over. Now I love this, it's a We Are Memories uh, quick stick. So it has like the sticky side on, on this side and it's so easy to pick up the small pieces. So, I'm looking at, I think this looks good. I think it looks more like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this orange piece, leave all the white so that it gives me a clue as to where to put this back. Um, and then let's just, you know, get some glue on here. And I'm sorry, I'm like not where you can see it there. All right, so you see that. Let's put this back. Okay, let's get this little dot. And um, so my one year on YouTube is coming up. So I was thinking, and I'm thinking out loud, you can comment. Um, I wanted to do a little giveaway on Instagram of um, my some of my favorite tools and materials. So like this would be one, um, maybe a, a couple packages of the Cricut glitter cardstock and the gold cardstock that I like a lot. And I don't know, I'll have to think about it, but let me know what you think about that. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So this guy is out here a little bit. Let's do this white dot first. stick because the tape is so sticky. There we go. Okay, and then let's do I use my tweezers for this too. Okay, 
Sanjavit će sad prispet i sve. I'm super excited for this view because I feel like it's such a good overview of this. All right, so let's see. All right, so her face is down. That looks pretty good, right? I think it's so cute. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. I'm going to lift this up. We're going to put the hair down. Oh, I didn't do the bow yet. We'll do the bow in a second. Okay. So I will move this over here. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, so we know we need to do the bow. We'll put that aside. Okay, so let's see. Now this piece is from because we had to do some maneuvering to get just the black hair in to do the black glitter cardstock. So this little piece right here is just, it's part of the slicing and the welding that I did. So I knew the face was gonna go over, so it doesn't matter. And this should fit perfectly to the edge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is once it's on, I'm going to lift it up and just tape down. Okay, so double-sided tape, just little by little, we're gonna get this down. And because it's black glitter cardstock, you could at this point actually um, use your glue gun to get it down, which reminds me I am going to heat up the glue gun right now because we're going to need it for the foam board. So we're just making our way across and I think you can see everything, okay. All right, so the seam is right here and the seam is right here. You can see it in this light, but in the hair, like, I mean, it's just gonna be so awesome. All right, so here's her face. Her face will fit in perfectly and see it covers that little black thing right there, so it doesn't matter. All right, so with the face, I will just put, because there's a cover, okay, this cardstock, let's talk about that for a second, is this from Michaels, okay? It's $20 for this whole thing. I've used all, well, not this one because it's so pink, but I've used a lot of the shades in here, ranging from light pink to cream for all the different princesses because at one time I had to do like five princesses and I didn't want all the princesses to have the same color. Um, it worked really well. I, so it's $19.99 I think is regular price and it does go on sale anywhere between four and five dollars. That is the only time we should be buying it, okay? <laughs> deal, deal. So I will also let you know I'm always on the lookout for that. Um, so I feel like her eyes look kind of weird okay maybe it's because I'm looking straight on okay so with this this cardstock is super light okay it's probably 65 pound cardstock but what I mean by light is that it's you know it's cream colored right it's so it do not use a glue gun on it it will shine through from the back into the front so you want to make sure that for this cardstock that you're only using double-sided tape I don't even like to use any type of glue nothing but what's nice is you just need to get it to stick to the black. Now we can put whatever on because there's a black layer and then the cards, you know, the light cardstock. But again, because the purpose of these off the mat characters are usually, I'm gonna guess, just for party decor. So it doesn't get a lot of wear and tear. It sits propped up against the table, the kick table. Um, you know, it's just for photos, right? And then afterwards, I mean, most of my clients put it up in the kids' room. So then it's hanging on a wall. So it doesn't get a lot of wear and tear. So I feel like, you know, when you're taping it, um, you don't have to worry about using like the hot glue gun. All right. She's pretty cute, right? I feel like she's part Betty Boop. Um, even though this is, it's so funny, this is supposedly the toddler version. 
there's something very um, sultry looking about her. All right, so this part, I feel I can see it's flapping up. So let's make sure we have double-sided tape in this corner right here. And make sure that the tape does not go through this little eyebrow because you will be able to see it. And I caught it a little bit. All right, I'm not gonna mess with it because it's barely noticeable. But you can take this, this edge right here, you can kind of push it in. Okay, all right, so she's down. Oh, let's do the hair. So um, this is glitter cardstock on glitter, glitter cardstock on glitter. So I do like to use um, the glue gun for this. And let me see what that looks like. Maybe it needs to be tilted a little bit more like this. Is that look cute? Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna take my glue gun. I love this glue gun. This is by Sure Bonder, and it has this stand it has this little thing to catch the glue drippings and it's cordless. Ta -da. So let's get this down. So here's the body and I'm going to just piece it. So you can see the skirt. Okay, so the hair I told you was cut. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see the skirt. The skirt has like, you know, the little pleats right here. So I sliced it kind of where that that is. And actually, I feel like I'm just going to cut that off. Um, scissors. I knew this little piece was hanging out there when I sliced it, but I didn't want to undo it. So I'm just going to slice that off. Okay. And you can see that this skirt, even just placing it like this, can you see how the seam is not that noticeable? It's already so shimmery. Um, yes, you can see it. And I've considered putting down cheating a little bit. I thought this was cute. Maybe put it somewhere like that. So then you wouldn't even, then there's just this seam right here and this seam right here. But again, this is untaped. So once we flip it over and we tape it from behind, I feel like you're not gonna be able to see the seams at all. So let's do that now first. So let's just push it up against each other and regular tape. Oh, I have a piece here. Okay, so let's tape it there. This one we do want to tape the edges, right? Because we don't want it, we don't want any light to shine through, and then you see the black in the back. So you see the seam? It's like, where is it? Oh yeah, I'm like I can feel it. It's coming down right here. I love it. It's like glitter magic. Okay, so that's down. Let's just piece together all these little cool pieces. Um, so like I was saying, the actual yellow that I wanted to use for the skirt is this yellow. Um, I think it's just so much prettier, but I knew this one was gonna show the seams. So. Um, glitter cards, you know, gold glitter cards, card stock it is. So, go. Alright. It's hard for me 
to see at this angle, like sideways, what it looks like. But all right, you starting to see how cute it is. And these are, you know, the blue, there's no seams. So this is, it just looks really, really good. All right, and there is a seam right here, but the gold um, cuff is covering it. So you could just see like this piece is gonna look very, very seamless. And with how cute her face is and her outfit and the colors, no one's gonna be focusing on the little seams on the edges. And especially with her black hair, because it feels like there's no seams up here, the first seam that you're gonna see is right here. There's a little bit here and a little bit here. Maybe like a quarter of an inch. So there's a seam there, there's like a little seam right there. And then on her feet, but we won't be able to see that in a second. I'm gonna do the bottom in a second. Let's do all of the top part first, and then I'll move this up, and then we'll look at the rest of it. Okay, there's just two more pieces up here. I'm missing her arm. Okay, here we go. And there's a seam right here, but this arm is gonna cover most of it. So there's just like a little bit at the edge and a little bit right here. You're not even gonna notice it. All right. So let's make sure that everything is balanced right now and then we can tape everything down. Okay, so. No, her neck, her neck's not balanced. Hold on. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now we'll start taping things down. So, um, because everything is place so well it makes me nervous so I'm going to put my finger down like this and then flip it up but not bend it where we have a crease in the thing right but just so that everything stays in place and you want to get the top and the bottom not like that where the tape is showing through <laughs> This one might be better if I use double-sided tape or um, the glue. Let's move her over a little bit. All right. Nope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, and then this one, Let's do the inside first because then it'll help us figure out where the blue goes when we take it up. Okay, so here. And you want to make sure that the tape does not go past the petal because you're going to see it in this black. so good I'm so excited about this project okay so now I'm gonna lift this up and we'll tape this now with the with the glitter cardstock like this one it's the blue we can put um, you can use a glue gun if you want to or glue 
but I don't like using regular glue either because then it has a tendency to warp the paper a little bit and it curls up. So you just have to be careful as you're applying it to make sure that it's drying, you know, flat. So I prefer to just use my tape. I really do. So we're just making our way through, looking really good. What do you think? And then this, so I bought this file on Etsy and um, it's a whole package. So I want to do Milan next just because Milan's going to be released soon. And um, there's Cinderella, which I think would be cool because I have Cinderella back there. Um, and I've yet to do Tiana. So I kind of want to do Toddler Tiana too. And I saw that this designer, it's um, Lemon Company Studios, I think. Um, I think she also has the baby version, which I didn't, okay. So it's cute. But the reason why I like the toddler version and it's perfect for off the mat is because look at how she's proportioned, right? She has a skirt, a top, her face, her hair. So you definitely don't want any seams for the for the face or for any any part of the skin tone because it would be so distracting. But just think if her face is 10 inches, 20 inches, 30 inches, 40 inches, it's so easy to get to, and I usually do it at 30 inches. So just imagine like if I had done it at 30 inches, I'm sure her hair and her skirt would have been seamless and you wouldn't have to worry about what color gold you wanna do. You know, I could have done the yellow that I really wanted. Um, so, just keep that in mind when you're looking for um, off the mat characters and which SVG files to use. I get that question a lot and then I'll see people say, oh, your stuff is seamless. How did you do it? I'm like, well, one, it is seamless other than the black outline because I, I picked a file that I knew was gonna work. Like what doesn't work is, um, I don't know, like Big Bird, right? He's just one big yellow piece. Like uh, there's nothing, I, I can't do any glitter gold magic when the whole thing is, <laughs> is all of that or Elmo, right? I mean, yes, it will definitely help to use glitter cardstock as opposed to, um, you know, just regular cardstock because you're gonna see that seam really, really well. Um, so you just wanna make sure you, I think I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and so it's just so funny to me when people say, oh, well, when I did it, like, how did you do it? And I'm like, well, one, you used yellow cardstock and I could see the big old seam coming down the skirt, right? And then also you want to make sure too, when you're doing it is, for instance, this is 48 inches, right? And we had those seams, which, you know, we worked through. But if it was a different file and the skirt and the hair wasn't, you know, working well for us. But if at 46 inches you didn't have any seams, do it at 46 inches. <laughs> Don't, the extra two inches, no one, trust me. Oh, did I just, what did I say? Sorry, <laughs> I wanna make sure I didn't pause my video. Um, don't the extra two inches only you would know that it's 48 inches versus 46 inches but everyone is going to see that seam so i know i'm really passionate about it because i feel like it's not worth it making it that big when it doesn't look that good i mean it's cool that you did it right i i mean i think everyone needs to have that learning moment where it's like okay i got it i can do this i could do it at 100 feet if i wanted to right because it's all math you just break it down, make sure everything you can cut on the Cricut. But, you know, does it look good? And when you're talking about, whoa, let me make sure. Um, you know, when, and it, 
when you can change it and not have any seams and you changed your, you know, what you wanted by an inch, and sometimes it can even be half an inch, it really makes a difference. So just be mindful of your numbers and your math. Um, of course, coming from a math tutor. <laughs> All right, so this is a big piece. So let's make sure we tape it down. Um, I would definitely get the tape up here just to make sure that the, the parts in the skirt doesn't flip or look flimsy at all. And, oh, you know what? I don't wanna use the glue gun because then it just, it makes me feel like I run out of time and I can't. I don't have the luxury of like moving it a little bit. Okay, so let's put this down. All right, seriously, can you see the seams? <laughs> All right, I am I know this is totally cheating. I gotta see what the seam is. I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of cute. So we'll see if we, if we put that on, okay? All right, so I'm gonna move her down. All we have left is her legs and her shoes. So let's get that down. So we have a seam here. That's the, that's the last of our seams. Oops, I have a little tape coming up right there. So we have seams coming through right there, but you can see her legs cover it. So there's a little bit of seam right here and a little bit on this side. Same thing with over here. So you can see it's really in the black. It's very little that's left. All right, so here's her cute little shoe. And then the other side and then all we have left after we do this is I'll show you how to do the foam board okay so that let's get her in that looks pretty good right and this is pretty easy. I mean, it's just all that's left. You just want to line it up a little bit. And again, with this, because it's such a long piece too, I'm just going to put some weight down on here and then tape it so it's in place. And because this light, this cardstock is so light as well, we don't need a lot of tape in the middle. We need top and bottom to make sure it stays. And you saw I bent that up, but I didn't cause any creases. So please don't blame me if you fold it too hard and then all of a sudden you need to recut this thing. All right, so let's see. Let's just make sure we like the placement of everything. And I feel like it's pretty good. Okay, so with this, I am also going to just do my weight down on the, the back of the shoe, tape it back here like that. All right, so the foam board that we're going to be using, um, I'm going to use the glue dots this time for these pieces. Um, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. I love it. Um, now, I... Use my Cricut knife. I definitely recommend it. I love it. It cuts through the foam board super, super easy um, and beautifully. And what I didn't realize is lately it was needing a blade change. So the last few that I did, it didn't cut through as well. It cut through the top layer fine. But what I ended up doing, and I'll show you in a second with some of my, the ones I have in the back, I, um, I peeled off the layer in the back, which made it look cleaner because it didn't cut cleanly. 
but what I did when that happens it stayed up fine because like rainbow bright if you can see um, she's standing up fine right propped up against something but she is not as sturdy as some of my other ones and some of these are a year old so um, I'm going to show you don't peel off the back because it does impact the sturdiness of, of it all and if you can avoid it you and you don't need to take off the back so that's my only thing and I kind of just I just didn't even think about replacing my blade like I just I don't do these projects enough to notice that my blade needed a change so I just peeled off the back thinking like oh maybe that's just what I needed to do so we are almost done I'm going to take a picture before my husband yells at me. <laughs> Can you hear that? I'm going to have to watch this video and see it later. Okay, this little guy. Oops. Last piece. Alright, so I'm going to flip back to this view because I'm going to lift her up. Look <laughs> how big she is. Oh my gosh. That looks so good, right? Okay, so let's do the foam for it. And this is the back, right? But seriously, when you're looking at this, okay, you can see, I guess with the reflection and the light, you can see that seam over here. It doesn't bother me quite that much. I think if we put this on and it breaks up the seam, oh, it's upside down. If it breaks up the seam, then you won't even notice it anymore. So I think I'm going to put her on. I'm going to put this on. But all right, so let's put her back down and let's get our foam board. So So you can buy foam board in white or black. I mean, it's pretty big. It's, I think it's 36 inches long, so we will need two. Um, definitely use the black because you're not gonna want, oh, did I not take, okay, let me get that down. Um, you just wanna make sure that where the seams are, if it catches any light, that the seams shoot through and it hits the black of this, so. Don't use the white unless you have a white outline. So, um, okay. So let's do that. I'm gonna move all this out of the way. So when you're doing the foam board, what you need is, I do prefer the Cricut knife blade, and I recently changed the blade. Let's move this out of the way. You're gonna need a pencil, and I'm gonna grab a pencil now because I forgot about that. And we're going to trace the outline of Snow White onto the blackboard. And then we're just going to use the blade to cut. So let's do the bottom half first because we know she's going to be too big, right? So she's, see, she's only going to fit like halfway. So let me, oh. All right, so as you can see, she's only going to fit the bottom half. We will glue this part here with the other foam board. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do, but because she's so big. All right, so we're gonna trace the outline. And for the most part, except for her feet, because the feet is gonna be what she's propped up on, we're gonna make, you know, make sure that we hit the line right, right at the bottom right here. But for the rest of it, we're gonna be cutting inside of the pencil line so that the foam board won't show through, but the foam board will be nice and sturdy and will keep her propped up. Now, this inside right here, I'm just gonna keep it black. I'm not gonna cut that hole. All right, so let's see. Because I feel like if you don't cut it cleanly, it's going to be more distracting than not. 
but we can always cut it afterwards if we don't like it like that. But for now, I think I got the whole outline. Okay, so let's move her a little bit off. All right, so can you see it? I think you can see it. All right, we're gonna take this and we're just gonna start cutting, okay? So inside of the line, and when you're cutting like this, you want to do one smooth line. It's so much easier to do it one smooth like that. And then this one, you want to cut it. I couldn't really see. <laughs> And I'm just going to twist this around so that I can see better as I'm cutting this. And you can see how easy it is to do this. Um, just make sure that your blade is sharp. Unlike the way I did it before. All right, so I think that should pop out. Where is it not? I cut through. Oh, right here at the bottom. And you can kind of see through the back where it didn't cut through. I just cut it out like that because when I start to not see, I still want like one smooth cut. So I'm just going to take it all the way to the edge. that's good on that side um all right so i'm gonna do the skirt We have one side down. Let's do this side. And you can see um, where that pencil line is. As long as you're kind of close, it's, it's still going to give it so much support that you don't need it to be exactly on the line, okay? Um, all right, so we have just one more path down. nervous I'm gonna like cut myself <laughs> so you gotta say practice safety um, 
measures here. Okay, so here's the bottom. I'm just gonna lay a little bit of her so that we can see how this looks. Looks pretty good. So you see how, and I'll flip her over. I mean, obviously we haven't glued her down or anything. So long, it's so hard to deal with her. Okay. Show you what it looks like from behind. So you can see a little bit of the outline. It's okay to be inside. This will still give her a lot of support. All right, so now what we gotta do is, since she's only partially covered here, we need to make sure that we get the rest of her down. So we're gonna flip her over. I'm tempted to, because I've never, I've only done small pieces of an extension. I almost feel like, okay, so let's just flip her over. I'm going to move her really far down, line her up, and I know you can't see this, but I'm going to line up her feet so that I know where we need to add. Okay, so here's my second piece of cardboard, or foam board. And I'm going to butt it up against the other one. Okay, let's make sure she's lined up. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to need to move this over to get her head in. All right. So that looks pretty good. So let's get our pencil and start tracing the rest of this. Then when we have the two pieces of foam board, we will glue them together with the hot glue gun. All right, so I'm gonna slide her off. Move this out. All right, so we're just gonna take our knife and start cutting some more, okay? And you can see I really cut inside the line, right? Can you see that? Oh, sorry. There. You can see I cut really inside the line, but it doesn't matter. As long as the majority of this is covered with the foam board, it's gonna give us the stability that we're looking for. All right, I'm just gonna do that so that this piece is gone. And now I'm left with just this. Okay. You can see I just didn't even care about those curls. So now that we have this, so you can see it lines up pretty well, right? So let's open it a little bit and just a little bit so that the glue gets in between. And let me get another glue stick just to make sure. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay. 
So we want to give it stability, so we're going to let some of the glue run in between the two seams, okay? And then we'll really hit it. And it's okay that this is uneven because just think of all the layers that we have sitting on top. We have our black background and then her, her dress is sitting on top of it. So no one's going to see the bumpiness of this, okay? All right, so we got to let it dry a little bit before we flip it over because otherwise, and I already kind of like glued it to my, the bottom of this a little bit, okay? So I just want to press against it so that it dries together like that. All right, so while we're doing this, let me see if there's anything else I can show you while we're waiting. Um, the only thing left is I'm going to want to flip it over and I want to glue the other side too to make, give it a really stable, stable foam board. I wonder, does it help at all? <laughs> Do myself all right well I'll do my end right now so if you have a project a personal project please post your comment your request you can email it to me at ann at the useless crafter.com or on any of our social media accounts so Instagram the useless crafter Facebook the useless crafter and then of course YouTube you're watching this already um, because I think it is really hard to learn how to use the Cricut um, design space. Is, it's a little clunky at times. So um, I will not enable you so much where I just do the project and you go and you click make it. You still have to learn how to do it, but you have someone walking you through it. So I think that helps and um, I would love to do it for you. All right, so that's kind of dry. Let's flip it over. And let's glue this side okay and this side because the other side was already glued the seams are kind of it's propping up a little bit so it's gonna let you put the glue down so I'm kind of just going down the seam and then I'm gonna push it up against each other and then put more glue on so this one's gonna look a little ugly in the back because of this glue but again, most of the projects that I know, it's propped up against a wall. No one's looking at the back. So I think you're going to be fine. So I'm just holding it like this. Oh, so what I meant is, um, so I'm going to, I think it's, I'm going to hold it just a little bit longer. But you see how this piece right here is sticking up? So what I did on Rainbow Bright is I just tore off the whole thing. So it's this nice foam white middle that was showing in the back. Um... And this turns out that this black here is for a reason. It really does make it that much sturdier. Again, it doesn't matter quite that much because you can see Rainbow Bite is standing up there along with all the other ones. And I think the only other one that I took, I'll show you, well, we'll look at the back of each one of those in a minute. I just wanna hold this a little bit longer to make sure that it is stable and glued on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop it up so that it stays there. Okay, so let's look at the back, okay? So this one, I took it off, but this one feels pretty stable. Okay. This one, I took it off as well. <laughs> Maybe I didn't leave it on as many. This one, I took off a little bit because it was getting messy. But she bends. I don't know if you could see that. So she doesn't feel quite as sturdy as the other pieces, but she's also more slender. I think that's between being slender, because this is just one big rectangle, right? 
Um, so just, you know, if you do a good job cutting, you're not gonna need to rip off the back. In this case, it has this anyway. Oh, not dry yet. Almost dry. Um, let's see, I'm testing out another glue gun this week, but I do like Sure Bonder. It, Price-wise with the one that I'm comparing it to, we'll have to see. But um, you need something that has a stand though, or that can stand up by itself, because I've had the other glue guns and you just don't want to burn yourself or burn your, um, your surroundings, like ruin your desk. So, all right, I think, okay. So I'm gonna flip it over, so look it. Oh my gosh. Can, is she even in the whole frame? So, all right. And I forgot, I didn't have it on the other. Okay, so here, this is this view. So let's, let's put her on. Now the last thing that you know we'll do is we're gonna glue her onto this board, right? And what I would do is glue from the bottom. So glue, glue one leg at a time. Okay, and just make sure we don't need to trim anything. I think everything looks pretty good. So let me grab another glue stick and I'll show you what I mean. So I would do one leg at a time. So get this down. Glue this side. Okay, now that that's down, I'm actually gonna flip her around. And so her feet are in, let's see, and I'm gonna lift her up like this, and I'm gonna glue little by little so that I'm not ruining this, but I'm making sure that she's gonna be glued down. But you see, we're folding her, easing her down, <laughs> making sure everything is glued. Just don't do like the top and then the bottom and then, you know, obviously you can't get to the middle, right? right I'm gonna need more of a glue stick, so I'm gonna put it down. Grab another glue stick. Okay, and then lift up and finish the rest of it. my glue gun is in. Okay. I think how the glue stick doesn't, like you need to keep feeding it in. That's annoying. So, any glue makers out there looking, watching my video, it's driving me crazy. And I'm just gonna flip it over to make sure we're good. And I'm tempted. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty stable. Okay, so now you can see the back of it too, right? That looks pretty good. I don't think it looks so bad. It could be cleaner in some areas, but overall. All right, so let's turn it back to camera one. Okay, first of all, this is her standing on my thing. <laughs> this is her next to me. 
And then I'm going to show you again because I thought I had it on this view when I was showing you the back of my boards. So <laughs> look at how big she is. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, she is in the camera. All right. This is her mama. This is toddler version. All right. So this is what I was talking about. The back, I pulled off the black, but this is one solid piece, right, which is different than Rainbow Bright, who is slender. So I feel like she's just not that sturdy taking off the the white, the black back here. So it's still, I mean, obviously she's still standing and you can take a picture, but she's not as sturdy as some of this. So, ta-da! <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye!